Hey there, welcome back to my channel. I'm Samantha Blodell and I'm Aura Intuitive. And this channel is for empaths who wanna learn intuitive tools for their everyday life. So today's video is all about the yellow shades of Aura um, colors. And I see d many different colors in people's auras. And as I've mentioned in the red video that I did, um, it is about there are personality colors that you hear about, but usually these are kind of set colors that you're drawn to, that your your personality is. The colors I see are all like the emotions moving through your aura. Our aura is like the information superhighway for our body. And then of course we have the chakras that are like the battery pack for our organs and our brain and, and, and our body. And so then you also have meridians that are small little, um, lines, energy lines through our body that also bring the energy. So all three of those are kind of connected, but they're not the same. So like the first layer of your aura, it doesn't mean that it's red, like the first chakra. So I like to explain that. And also in this video, like I said, we will go over different colors that I see. You may see a color that I haven't included. And if you would like to share it in the comment down below, um, I would love that because there again, I it's my filter, my perception of what these meanings are. And you may see something different. So to start off, the first color we're going to go with is sunshine yellow. And of course, sunshine yellow is about being happy, being joyful, um, bringing in the sunshine. <laughs> and I, I'm normally not a heat person or a sun person as much, but I do love being, feeling that sunshine energy coming through my system. So it is about, you can even call on the rays of sun to kind of come into your aura and really enliven your energy. So the next color we're going to go over is curry. And curry, um, it radiates confidence. And it also is a color that brings in financial abundance. So it is a wonderful color to um, imagine meditating and bringing in that curry energy into your whole aura, being in a bubble of curry. Um, you will you will really feel that sense of abundance in your aura. So the next color is a dark golden yellow. So it's when we're, we have like a inner spiritual battle going on. And what I mean by that is we, you know, mind, body, spirit, um, we, we've got all three of those kind of systems working together. And when those aren't in alignment, you can really feel that. And so you're like, something just is not right. Um, so it really is about bringing that balance. When you see that color, it's usually a time for you to ground more, to center more, to clear your energy more, and to learn how to raise your vibration. So the next color is brown mustard. So um, brown mustard is when you feel emotional pain. So a lot of people who are grieving, I see this brown mustard color. Also people that um, heartbroken, um, people that are just really um, at the end of the rope kind of as far as um dealing with all the emotional drama in their life so in this case also it would be important for you to clear your energy it's not going to take the memory away but it will take the amplification the the really power of that pain to you know it'll lower the frequency of that so that you can you can deal with it you can accept it and understand it so the best way is to use cobalt blue and beautiful vivid cobalt blue and just imagine breathing it in and your whole aura filling with cobalt blue so the next color we're going to do is daffodil 
And so, you know, daffodils, bright yellow, they are pretty close to sunshine yellow, but daffodils are all about, um, when you are somebody who's really intellectual, you like to read books, you really like to, um, um, have intelligent conversations um that is more important to you um and then you know it could still be spiritual but it's a little bit more of the book sense versus the spiritual sense and so there's nothing wrong with that that's just maybe the way you are you're more drawn to that intellectual conversation so the next color is a butter <laughs> like if you have butter in your refrigerator, you'll know what I mean. And it's um, the butter color is always when you really feel a sense of being able to trust your intuition, trust your gut. Um, you ju you're just really in that state of trusting what comes into your life and what you release out of your life. So next color is butterscotch. Butterscotch is when we are very opinionated. Um, so you've probably met somebody who is like, you know, I will never say that I've been wrong. They won't say they're sorry. They, they're very stuck as far as this is the way it goes. And usually butterscotch is what I see for them. And so obviously it's, you know, a resistance. And like we said, energy needs to move. It's constantly movement. So when you resist, it has to kind of go around that resistance. So there again, takes more energy to live. Um, you're, you're depleting your energy by doing that. So obviously that would be some kind of color that you really need to work on a lot of things, but we won't go into that in this video. So the next one is pineapple and pineapple is, um, when we just really feel like we need to be independent. Usually it's when you're feeling like you just got to get out and go on a trip by yourself um, go to the forest by yourself, go swimming, um, do something where you're really feeling independent. And so, you know, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> it helps us, it kind of brings us back in, into ourselves and we go within and, you know, kind of figure out who we are. So the next one is pale yellow and pale yellow is when we're introverted or very or shy so we're feeling or feeling uncomfortable even so let's say we feel like we'll be embarrassed or something so we kind of bring our aura close to our body it'll normally be a very very pale yellow where it's almost white um that's hard i know <laughs> and, and 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 everybody you know introverts are introverts that's just the way it goes um but if you're feeling kind of shy about something you might want to figure out why you're you know usually it's about you judging you um saying oh i'm not good enough to be seen or something like that so it really would be good for you to kind of um work on that and go within and see why that is happening so the next color is lemon yellow. Lemon ye uh, yellow is always when we have a fear of losing control. It's all about control. So people that are very controlling and um, yeah, they have a lot of fear. And of course they're the first ones to go, I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid and kind of have an ego about them. So that, um, that lemon yellow, beautiful lemon yellow when you see the lemons, but usually I actually, I, one of my intuitive gifts is I actually smell or so lemon yellow. When I smell my <laughs> lemons is usually when you're being very, um, very controlling about what you're doing. You're feeling like you have to control everything because if you, you know, control it, you think that everything's going to be all right. Um, as we know, we live in a, um, dual duality and so we know that everything's experience yes bad things happen to everyone uh, but it is also they are experiences they're not to the positive things are good too so it is about you kind of 
really uh, knowing that by controlling, you're not allowing the positive things in your life as much either. So the last color that we have is a dark yellow that has like tinges of um, brown on the edges. So that's usually when you're um, feeling the weight of the world on your shoulders. You're feeling a pressure to achieve. Um, a lot of times this is peer pressure. It's not about you. Sometimes it is about you <laughs> putting, not having compassion for yourself. But most of the time I see this color when either a f the family saying, yo, you've got to be a doctor because all of us were doctors or you have to do this because everybody does it. Um, so it's, it's a peer pressure color usually when I see this. So anyway, those are the main colors that I see. There's some I may not have included. And like I said before, you can um, give me a comment if you see other colors or if the meanings that I have are different for you. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and subscribe because I'm going to be posting all different colors other videos I've already done red and orange and now this is yellow so but you don't want to miss that so thanks for coming to my channel and have a great day